If you want to know how you can create a digital notebook entirely in Keynote, just keep on watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia, the friendly creator behind Akai Hana Art. And for this community, I create tutorials and products to make you start creating with your iPad either if it's illustration, design, or digital planning. So, if you like this kind of topics, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything, and like the video if you want to watch more videos related to this one. So, this video has been on my list for a long time, and recently a customer of mine asked me if I could create a tutorial on how to make a notebook entirely in keynote so uh, here I am hello Maureen I hope you like this tutorial so for this tutorial I'm going to be using a couple of assets that I sell on my Etsy shop uh, you can grab the mock-up notebook that looks exactly like the happy planner or you can buy little uh, PNG files that you can add to your planner and create it entirely in Keynote. So here we are in Keynote and as a first step we want to resize the canvas or the slide and for doing that we are going to go to document in the up right corner of the screen and then we go to custom size to slide size and then custom and there i'm going to be adding some values uh, these are the perfect values for creating a planner on a 12.9 inch ipad pro this that is the ipad that i have and later i can show you how you can grab the perfect size for your ipad in another video if you want me to leave me in the comments down below okay perfect now here we have our perfect size canvas and to start creating the planner i'm going to be using shapes simple shapes i'm going to resize this uh, to the size that i want to and then in a style, I'm going to be changing the filling onto image filling. And then I'm going to choose an image I already grabbed from the free pick uh, web page. That is the resource page where I grab everything that I want to when I'm creating my products. Um, and here we have our cover. I love this wintry image, so that's why I got it. Now we are going to import uh, one of my products that is a PNG file. Uh, these are basically realistic looking binder rings. We have two versions, one for open book, one for, for a cover or for a closed book. And you can resize it. As you can see, it has, it has no background and it looks realistic because it already has a realistic shadow that um, we need this to create depth and things like that and um, now I'm going to be adding more shadows uh, in order to make it more realistic to the cover itself and also to the binder ring so I go to style drop shadow and um, for the binder rings also, I click style, drop shadow, and you can mess around with how, how dark or um, transparent you want your, uh, your shadow to be, or where you want it to go, and things like that. And after this, you just have to group the entire um, image and you can place it wherever you want to uh, in order uh, for you to create your planner. This is the easiest way that I can find to create a cover, a realistic cover. Now I'm going to be creating an open book. So I'm going to do basically the same thing, uh, but I'm going to do it twice. And I'm also going to add uh, 
white paper because from now on this is where your layouts monthly weekly daily layouts are going to be so we have to add besides the covers and the binder rings we have to add the white paper here i am copy and pasting the cover and now i'm going to be importing the open book binder as you can see you can see the holes from both sides of the paper and i'm going to be resizing also the covers because for me uh, they are too slim and i'm going to do that separately it's too much around here probably i will have to mess around with this a little bit more but for now i'm going to leave it like this now i'm going to be adding more shapes i'm going to resize it to the size that i wanted the paper to be and the thing that i want that i added the cover is because i love the cover to be seen behind the paper so it looks even more realistic and I'm going to paint it white and also I'm going to be copy and pasting this image so the paper both sides of the paper look exactly the same and now our binder rings are behind so we need to fix that here we have and in a range you can bring the binder rings up front here they are perfect now i'm going to be adding shadows to the paper and this is great because it's, it adds um depth you know like you can see that the paper is real because you can see uh shadows that it, it, it the shadow the shadows that it makes so this is another product that i was i wanted to tell you about these are basically already design layouts but these are basically png files with no background um i sell these as brushes for procreate and also sell them as png files uh, that you can add here in keynote or you can add them as stickers in good notes uh, i sell them for weekly and monthly layouts or i also sell them as yearly and daily these are two two different products these are already available on my Etsy shop. And if you are interested in them, I will leave the link in the description down below. Um, these are great because it will take less time to design the layout that you want for your planner. You Obviously, you could do this with shapes in Keynote, but it will take longer because you have to add uh, every single layout uh, every single square by separate so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you find it useful and you were able to learn how to create a notebook and possibly turn it into an, a journal or a planner if you want to the products that you saw in this video are already available on my Etsy shop so I will leave the link in the description down below so you can go and check them out I also uh, created a, a video a while ago on how to create a digital planner entirely in Keynote and if you haven't seen that one I will leave the link in the description down below also if you want to go and check it out Finally, if you like videos like this and you want to watch more videos about it, please give it a thumbs up and spread the love by sharing to the people that you think might be interested in these type of topics. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!